hi guys welcome back to my channel welcome to a new video so in today's video we're gonna be talking about money 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 yes you heard me right i'm gonna be talking about the cost of living here in Turkey. boy is gonna be resistance resident edition like uh, my current situation right now and i'm also gonna do cost of living at the student level where a student lives in a hostel and then we're gonna compare the two so without further ado i guess we should get into the video start with the house rent. so on average you probably have a house that you have to pay 1.2 Turkish lilas that's also approximately 120 uh, United States dollars that's as of today so if you're living alone it's probably gonna be a one bedroom or two bedroom house according to your preferences or your three bedroom house according to your preferences and also according to the location where you live in it's gonna cost even higher but on average it's gonna be like 1.2 Turkish lilas uh, yeah so that's like 120 uh, United States dollars so just to talk about the apartment as I said as just as uh, everywhere else the cost of the house the rent depends on um, how huge the city you live in is uh, the neighborhood you're staying so the prices keep on going the more uh, or actually the the neighborhood is the more the price the price you have to pay yeah so that's it about the rent and let's go to the bills and of course it's gonna be electricity so like for myself on average i usually do have like uh, get 80 Turkish lilas a month of electricity but this might be even higher like a hundred if i do a lot of uh, baking in the oven or if i i learn too much uh, that month then i do get a very higher bill but on average i usually get 80 Turkish lilas a month for my electricity bill and uh on my water bill i do have uh, on average i do get like 40 Turkish lilas and let me do also tell you this guys when i first uh got into this apartment my water bill was a little higher uh, than it is today but i i really don't know what happened but it's almost like um down like because i remember I used to have like 70 Turkish lilas a month and now I do have on average 40 Turkish lilas uh, that's I don't know what happened but yeah that's it so it's uh, about 40 Turkish lilas a month let's talk about gas so for me I do use gas uh, depending uh, the season of the year of course because you need gas to heat uh the house when it's cold so uh, it's like uh, about six to seven months of winter that you have to heat the house so if you're heating the house it might be it does cost me like maybe 300 or 400 Turkish lilas a month to heat the house and of course um whole water and cooking for the gas but when it's summer so i don't spend that much it costs me like maybe around 150 or 200 Turkish lilas according to uh, how much i i take a shower of course if i accidentally uh, turn on the heater uh, if i cook like hard meals or i cook a lot at that time then uh, it might go higher but on average it's like 150 or 200 Turkish lilas in the summer months I'll talk about the internet uh my internet does cost me around 90 Turkish lilas a month so i have to pay that uh, i think every 16th of a month i'm not sure my internet okay so also around the fixed 
cost as well let's talk about transportation cause it's a must i go to the hospital to and fro and if i use uh, the city buses then it does cost me right to and fro about six Turkish liters uh, so let's say if i go to work 20 days a month that's the 20 working days a month in a month uh, it does cost me on average 120 Turkish liters but sometimes i'm late or sometimes i want to take a taxi so on average a taxi does cost around 20 Turkish liters from home to the hospital or to the hospital to home it costs me around 20 Turkish liters so if i take a taxi like four times uh, in that month then it means i'm spending like 80 Turkish liters for the transportation to the taxi and then around uh, 200 maybe just for transport in a month well let's talk about the groceries i think for the groceries things i will have to make a separate video just to show you guys what i like i can get from the supermarket uh, with my 100 Turkish liters or 200 Turkish liters it will depend when i'll be making the video but i'm planning on making another video so that you have uh, a picture of what 100 Turkish liters gets you uh, at the grocery store so for the groceries i do spend i think around 200 Turkish liters a week uh, or one, 150 to 200 a week which means it could be something like 600 to 800 uh, Turkish liters a month because um, I usually go for the vegetables the fruits and these really do cost higher i like getting uh, vegetable milk uh, which is also a little bit higher yeah so um the groceries do cost me uh, a little bit higher maybe according to someone who does the shopping on average but yeah that's what costs me also forgot one thing there is also an apartment fee so when you're you're paying your rent for the apartment and you are also have to going to pay uh, an apartment fee this includes cause uh, every apartment has uh, some some people who work in that apartment who correct uh, the bin uh, who make sure that the the premises are clean so there should be some kind of cash that should be given to these people if they are working for the entire apartment so yeah every month you have to pay a certain amount so that's uh, on average like 100 or 200 Turkish villas this also depends on the uh, on the area the neighborhood you're staying because some people uh, will tell you that they pay way 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 higher when i do the math it's something like uh, three thousand uh Turkish liters a month uh, let's talk about the variable cost okay so as i said in the beginning of the video that these variable costs uh, are the things that do change it's not something fixed they do change according to what you're buying that month uh, how many times you're deciding to eat out so let's say you want to eat out on a certain day so uh, a basic meal and uh, a drink will probably cost you around 80 Turkish liters so you have to pay that so if you drink alcohol or you're smoking that means you will have to spend way 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 higher amount so like enough uh i don't i take no alcohol no smoking so we are good on that note so on average you have to spend like um 80 turkish uh, liters of pay pay outing if you decide to go out just on average this is for a basic meal so the prices might be higher or low uh depending on what kind of food you order out there so sometimes you also want to grab some coffee of course out there so this is also gonna add up to your variable expenses so on average uh, a cup of coffee let's say the bucks 
in my case i do love caramel macchiato or uh, latte macchiato something like that from starbucks uh, and it's usually the medium size cup this costs uh, around 17.5 i think yeah 17.5 turkish years so if i go to starbucks like five times a month yeah then you can add up to the to the cost as well sometimes in summer you want to grab some ice cream that's also some kind of expense and also we, we are people every just like every millennial we like traveling so uh, let's say in a month you or in a month you're traveling two times or three times you're going to a different city you're flying to a different city so uh, one one plane ticket uh, round ticket for um, a print ticket to another city it costs around uh, to and fro costs around 500 Turkish lira so this is just the transportation for the plane ticket and of course when you're going to the airport you have to take either a shuttle or a taxi that's also some kind of cost uh, and if you're going for a vacation that will mean accommodation to the place you're going so it's gonna be a hotel fee and stuff like that and i think i should also make a separate video to talk about this travel travel thing uh if, if you follow me for some time you know how much i like traveling yeah so if i travel once in a month or twice in a month it means i'm spending about 500 turkish dealers on a plane ticket a round plane ticket that is uh yeah so i think you can do the math as well okay so on my like these variable expenses can cost something around 2000 uh, or maybe 2000 to 3000 Turkish liras a month depending on what you're buying that month so in the next episode uh, it's gonna be part two of this video the cost of living that's gonna be student edition as i said someone who lives at the hostel uh, so we're gonna talk about uh, hostel life and uh, what you have to spend while at the hostel yeah so i think you've just had this clear picture about how uh, life is like uh, here in turkey the cost of living this is all i had to talk in this video so as i said if you knew please Make sure you subscribe if you have other questions that you want to know about the cost of living in Turkey. I'm going to make a separate video just to answer your questions uh, until in my next video. Bye for now.